In the immense expanses of the stratosphere, an extraordinary feat of engineering is pushing the boundaries of what is achievable in the field of unmanned aerial systems. The BAE Systems High Altitude Pseudo Satellite Drone, also known as FASA 35, has recently achieved an impressive milestone its first successful stratospheric flight. This momentous event took place just last month, where the FASA 35, a cutting edge marvel of modern aeronautics, executed a remarkable 24 hour test flight. Taking to the skies above the stark landscapes of New Mexico, USA, this drone propelled itself to over 66,000 feet in the stratosphere, significantly higher than commercial airliners fly, before making a controlled descent back to Earth. This achievement didn't occur by accident. It was a product of rigorous planning, novel technology, and groundbreaking design. The FASA 35 is truly a spectacle to behold. Its expansive wingspan stretches 35 meters, comparable to a small commercial aircraft, yet despite its scale, it boasts an impressively light frame. The entire apparatus, even when considering its payload, weighs a mere 150 kilograms. However, what's even more intriguing about FASA 35 is its power source. Coating the expansive wings are solar panels, capable of harnessing sunlight during the day, storing energy, and ensuring the drone can function seamlessly during nighttime operations. This solar electric system is what powers the FASA 35, allowing it to remain aloft in the stratosphere for extended periods. In the arena of high-altitude pseudo-satellites, FASA 35 is not the lone contender. Indeed, the race to secure dominance in the stratosphere is a globally contested endeavor. Prominent aerospace corporations, such as Airbus and Boeing, are deep into the development of their own drones, aiming to stake their claim in this high-altitude frontier. Each company has the same vision, to rewrite the rules of aviation and redefine what's possible with unmanned aerial vehicles. Yet, FASA 35 is not simply an exercise in technical prowess. The goal of this drone's development program extends beyond mere endurance and altitude records. It's been meticulously engineered with the potential to remain aloft in the stratosphere for up to an entire year on a single flight, all the while carrying out its designated functions. This opens up an array of potential applications that go beyond conventional drone capabilities. From defense applications, where it can serve as a high-altitude platform for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISTAR, to more humanitarian uses, the possibilities seem limitless. For example, in a disaster scenario where traditional communication infrastructures may be compromised, the FASA 35 could become an alternative provider of 4G and 5G communications networks. It could also be used for border protection, providing high-resolution, real-time surveillance over large expanses of land. The success of the recent flight trial is a significant breakthrough in FASA 35's development trajectory, which started back in 2018. It was the first in a series of trials planned to evaluate the drone's performance, test its systems, and validate its capabilities. By doing so, the team behind FASA 35 aims to prove its worth in both defense and commercial sectors globally, thereby cementing its status as a game changer in aerospace technology. This landmark achievement is a testament to the collaborative effort between Prismatic, a subsidiary of BAE Systems, and several partner companies including Pyran, Amprius, Microlink, Honeywell, PMW Dynamics, and the Met Office. Their joint dedication, skill, and hard work have brought to life a system that could potentially revolutionize long-endurance, high-altitude operations and communication applications. The journey of FASA 35 began with its maiden flight in Australia back in 2020. This initial flight led to a significant event in 2019 when BAE Systems acquired UK-based Prismatic, which had been a partner in FASA 35's development program. This acquisition has since integrated the program into BAE Systems' Falcon Works division, marking a new chapter for the company's aerospace R&D innovation. As we stand on the cusp of a new era in aviation technology, FASA 35 stands as a shining beacon of human ingenuity and technological advancement. With each successful trial, 
we inch closer to a future where drones like Phaser 35 could rule the stratosphere, forever altering the way we understand and interact with the world from above. BAE Systems, the architect of this breakthrough, is thereby redefining the limits of what's possible in aerospace innovation. As we move forward, we can expect to witness the continual growth and evolution of this exciting field of technology. It's clear to see that, in this world, the future of flight has already arrived.